guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For this video, we are finally doing a foundation review after what feels like ages. Uh, I am back with a new foundation review. No new foundation has been really like itching me, you know, that I need to get my hands in it. And this particular brand is very underrated. So I decided to try it out in today's video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, then this is the right time. If you're watching my videos and you've not clicked on that subscribe button down below, go down, click on that big red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it and you're notified every time I upload a new video. So for today we are testing out the Rimmel London Perfect Match Foundation and of course Rimmel is a very underrated brand in India. It's a brand available worldwide I feel and it's very hyped up in London and UK and those countries that's why like European nations but I think Asian countries don't really dive into Rimmel makeup so I really want to test this out. This is the first time even I am trying a Rimmel product. This is a very honest review. It's not a sponsor video of any sort I purchased this myself and so yeah if you're interested to know my very honest opinion and wear test on this particular foundation then you can keep on watching okay so let's start with the packaging of this particular product this is what the bottle looks like it's a very classy glass bottle with a blue color cap and it also has a pump inside which is a very nice pump it gives you foundation in a very controlled manner uh, it says Rimmel Match Perfection, it's not perfect match, sorry. It's Match Perfection Foundation. It has its claims right here. It's a one fluid ounce, which is 30 ml bottle, which is a decent price. Uh, and I've picked up the shade 402 Bronze. So uh, apart from this being a glass bottle, which wouldn't be very travel friendly, there is no other nitpicking to the packaging. I really like how it looks, very sleek, slim. The shade range on this foundation is really great. It offers 20 shades. So there is a particular shade for everyone to pick out. I always try to review foundations which have tons of shades so that like my channel is as inclusive as possible and every girl can find a shade. My particular shade for today's video I've picked out is 402 Bronze which I feel is a little too ashy looking for my skin. I've said that when I'm wearing the foundation. I have spoken about the shade range when we go ahead in the video there is a 401 as well for somebody who's lighter than me and a lot of lighter color shades and three colors which are darker than me i don't think all the shades are available on nika but that's where i picked up my foundation shade so i'm gonna leave the link in the description section for where you can get yours so there's like a sticker behind which i'm gonna remove because it's like hiding all the claims of the foundation also want to say that it didn't come in any unicarton this is the foundation bottle, the, directly the glass bottle which I'm not complaining the unicart and usually I end up throwing. It says it's an invisible mistake proof foundation for visibly perfected and healthier looking skin. Weightless smooth texture blends with skin's real tone instead of masking it. 24 hour moisture complex leaves skin feeling hydrated. Soft focus powders help reduce imperfections, pores and dark circles. So these were all the claims that this particular foundation makes and as you go ahead in the video you'll be able to see me test out this foundation and then see if these claims actually hold true. The price of this foundation is I think 700, I'm not sure. Uh, oh yeah, it's 700 and it's on discount currently so I picked it up for 560 bucks. Uh, so yeah, it's a very decent drugstore price foundation. I don't think the price is expensive at all. So now if you want to see if all the claims of this foundation hold true, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let's start. I've already uh, prepped my skin with moisturizer and now I'm going to dive into primer like I always do before my videos. So I'm using the Shambor Anti-Shine Primer since this is a very good primer and makes your makeup last really long. So I'm going to give this foundation a fair shot, taking a little bit of this and applying it in my T-zone. Okay, so just like all my other foundation reviews, half of my face I'm going to do with a sponge and the other half with a brush so that we know which uh, makeup application technique works best with this particular foundation. Okay, first I'll take brush on this side. This is just a regular Amazon Kabuki brush. I'm taking one full pump on the back of my hand and I'm going to go in with this brush on this side of my face. The foundation match is pretty close. I think it's a little bit light but that, not that much. Uh, it's a little pink undertone than I would like it to be since I'm very yellow undertone. Okay, 
I really like the dewy finish it's giving. Like, can you see my primer was matte, my moisturizer is matte, but can you see the glow it's adding to my skin? It makes your skin look really healthy. The coverage also is medium to full. It's definitely not light coverage, but it's not extremely full coverage. I think I will go a shade darker, just a tad bit darker because my forehead is much darker than the rest of my face. It looks lighter on my forehead than it did on my cheeks. I'm sorry if you can hear disturbance at the back. There's like a lunch party happening in my house. So I cannot help my family's noises that will come in the back. Okay, so so far with the brush, I really liked it. The stippling went really fast. It blended in very well and very quickly into my skin. Makes my skin look really healthy. And the entire one pump that I used got over with the brush that I was using. I could drag it down my neck as well. Now let's do the other half with a sponge and see what we feel. Once again, I'm taking another full pump at the back of my hand and taking my Real Technique sponge, squeezing out all the excess water. Definitely shears out the coverage when I'm using it with a sponge, like it was more full coverage with a brush. But that is the case with all of the foundations. The sponge always shears out your coverage. Okay, I definitely feel the coverage over here is super sheer as compared to the coverage here. So I'm gonna add like half a pump more, even on my forehead and like in this particular patch. I prefer mostly a sponge but I think personally would prefer a brush for this particular foundation also felt like the blending was faster with uh, this side than it was with this side so yeah technique wise I think a brush is the preferred technique with this particular foundation okay giving you all a quick close up of what my skin looks like it's hidden all my scars and acne pits so the coverage is beautiful there is no sinking into fine lines or creases the only thing that's off for me particularly is the shade but other than that it's evened out my skin tone really well and it's also covered my scars really well I do not like this shade it's making my face look very grey, ashy and ghost like I definitely feel they need more shades between the 402 and the next shade because the next shade is too dark and this particular shade is not the correct undertone for me personally it's just this is a very neutral undertone. So, so far so good. I do really like the finish of the foundation. It is a very dewy looking foundation but it is not at all oily, slippery or slidey like those dewy foundations that make your skin feel super oily. Of course, I wouldn't like them because I'm oily skin. Uh, it is a very like matte to touch, not transferring too much over my hands. So, it's very well set into the face. If you have dry skin, you would love the finish of this foundation. It makes your skin look super healthy and you don't even have to set it with a powder because it's set instantly. Like, there's nothing on my hands. But of course, if you're oily skin like me, I'm gonna set my under eyes after I put concealer. And how I do my regular full face makeup, I'm gonna do that and be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've applied my full face of makeup and it was a dream to blend everything over this foundation. My concealer blended so seamlessly. It's never looked this beautiful over any foundation for that matter. And everything for that matter, my highlighter looks very natural. Everything looks very beautiful. So with the blending and all, I had no problem at all. Because you're not gonna ask in the comments below, I'm gonna say that the lipstick I'm wearing today is the Calabar Hot Latte since it's been a hot minute that I've worn this lipstick. And the gloss on top is the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Flying Horses because the lipstick was getting a little too drying so I had to top it off with a gloss. Uh, for my eyes I've just put a little bit of brown eyeshadow and put eyeliner and mascara nothing else. Since I'm mostly at home today not going out anywhere as such but I'm definitely running a wear test. So far I do really like this foundation. Every claim that it makes like right from invisible coverage which I feel is like it covers everything but doesn't look too much like foundation. It is a weightless foundation like it claims. It's very weightless and lightweight I don't feel like I have a cake face of makeup on my skin. It has not sunk into any of my fine lines or like I don't have wrinkles but always my foundation tends to crack in this area and that has not happened with this foundation. Even after powder 
it gives a very healthy looking skin the way it claims and it also says it has pore blurring effect now i don't know what exactly that is but yes my pores do look very smoothened out with this foundation like this particular area is looking beautiful which is very rare because this particular area looks the ugliest after foundation and after wearing it for some hours so we are going to run like two check-ins it's about 2 p.m right now and i'm going to run one check-in at 5 p.m and then another one at 8 or 9 p.m then let's see how much the pore blurring effect lasts and see how it performs i'm going to give you all a quick close-up of this foundation now so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, the shade is a little off. It's a little too neutral and ashy looking. Not gonna lie about that. I did try to nullify it with bronzer and all of that, but uh, that's just how much it worked. It's not getting any deeper or darker than this. I also feel a little bit of that ashy looking thing is because of the SPF in it. It has SPF 20 and so maybe it uh, kind of is looking that neutral ashy uh, thing you know when you put sunscreen how your skin looks it's kind of giving that look a little bit I don't mind it after I've done my full face makeup definitely not a foundation I would wear personally to like a, a wedding or like an evening event because where there's a lot of flash photography happening uh, this foundation might tend to give a strong flashback let me just check like let's take a flash selfie and check if it does give a flashback okay then so as such in my selfie I'm gonna insert it here uh, it doesn't give any particular flashback but I feel like I feel if there is a strong like light and flash photography happening I might look like a ghost in those photos so I particularly wouldn't wear it to like these events but if it's a very long lasting foundation it would be great to travel with you know morning to night you're running traveling exploring and this foundation makes your skin look healthy and beautiful in photos so if that's the case I would love this foundation we are going to run a fair wear test I will see you guys at 5pm now. Bye. Okay guys, I'm here for my first check-in. It's 5.30pm and my foundation has lasted really well. Uh, granted, I'm just sitting at home and not doing anything with myself but um, it's there, it's not gone, I've eaten too much and my lipstick is also there, everything stays put. I took like a poll on Instagram, I didn't take a poll, I just asked you guys how do you feel my foundation looks and I got a good response on Instagram so that selfie got a good response but um, I video called my friend and he thought it was looking very foundation-y he said I, have, I had better foundations that didn't make me look like this he's like it looks like you've applied makeup maybe that's because it looks a tad bit lighter than what my actual uh, foundation shade is or actual skin tone is so yeah so far so good I'm gonna check in again at the end of the day maybe at 8 9 o'clock and hopefully go down before that like take a round in my society and come back and get like a pollution real climate test uh, yeah but I've been sitting at home without AC like not sitting in air condition so I have been getting pollution exposure through the windows I will see you guys at night bye Alright you guys, it's 8pm now and I'm taking off this makeup, I'm signing out for the day. I haven't really been able to give it a very fair wear test. I have worn this foundation for nearly 6 hours now uh, and it stayed on beautifully on my skin but that's also because I was like at home all day. I just left the house for 10 minutes to go down for Fudge's walk but apart from that I've not done anything. I've edited my video and done a little bit of settling my cupboard but not really sweaty work. But one more thing I want to say is the foundation wears beautifully. There is no complaint I can have with this foundation. It is so fresh looking. Like even at the end of the day, I am tired. I was socializing all day. Editing videos is tiring. Settling cupboards is tiring. But it doesn't make me look tired. Like it makes me look very, very fresh. And if you can find your perfect shade, you would love to wear this at a very long event because it's very dewy looking. And even uh, I asked my aunt and everyone who was at home and they all said it was looking very fresh and I was looking very fresh so yeah it's a very beautifully wearing foundation specifically in this area like in my dry region of my t-zone where my makeup usually cracks and creases and my foundation sinks into my fine lines that did not happen with this foundation it looks beautiful around this region even at the end of the day I've eaten so much food I've even slept actually for an hour in the afternoon I went off to sleep and the foundation is there like I sleep on my sides and there was no foundation transfer zero transfer on my pillowcase and I did not even set it with powder. I barely put a little bit of powder around this region but not over here 
and it was there and all of my bronzer blush highlight everything has stayed put you can see all the makeup products are still there so I do trust the longevity I feel like if I go out it will melt a little but not that much my pores look beautiful in this foundation so I highly recommend it there are 20 shades you can pick it out it's also a very affordable foundation so yes it's Sara approved and I highly recommend it if you can find your shade online you should definitely try it out the only bummer is that you can't pick it out in a store because I don't know any store that sells Rimmel yet uh, but you can definitely like judge your shade online and pick up one online uh, that's what I did and yeah it's not suiting me to the T but um, I can like mix it with other foundations and make it work since this is so dewy a really matte foundation and I can mix the two and make it look really a beautiful combination uh, so yeah that was it for today's review I hope you guys enjoyed the next foundation I'm planning to review is the sugar cosmetics one or uh, the I don't know the exact, it's a serum foundation from Sugar and also I just saw today on Instagram that Pack launched their new Spotlight foundation so really excited to try that out as well. If you guys want to see all these videos then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. I'm going to do reviews at least twice a month I definitely try to do reviews so you get to know about new products and also the other videos are pretty fun and beauty related. So if you're into that kind of content please do subscribe. If you like this video hit the like button. Let me know in the comments which other foundations, concealers, what else you want to see. And I'm going to do that for you. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Love you all.